The woolly mammoth, a giant of the Ice Age, a symbol of a time long gone. But what happened to these incredible creatures? Why did they vanish from the face of the Earth? The extinction of the mammoth is a puzzle, a mystery from the past that we're still trying to solve. It's a story about climate change, human impact, and the delicate balance of life on our planet. In this video, we'll journey back in time to explore the world of the woolly mammoth and the forces that led to its demise. Imagine a world locked in ice, vast glaciers stretched across continents, and roaming these frozen landscapes were the woolly mammoths. These weren't just any elephants, they were giants, adapted to survive the harshest conditions. But then, something changed. The ice began to melt, the world warmed, and the mammoth's world began to shrink. The mammoths were in trouble. So, what really killed the mammoths? Was it the changing climate, or were other forces at play? Some scientists believe that early humans played a role in their demise. They point to evidence of hunting, of mammoths killed and butchered by our ancestors. Others argue that disease may have ravaged mammoth populations, weakening them and making them more susceptible to other threats. The truth is likely a complex combination of factors. Join me as we delve into the evidence and uncover the truth behind the extinction of the woolly mammoth. As the last ice age began to wane, the world was in a state of flux. The climate was warming, and the vast ice sheets that had once covered much of the northern hemisphere were receding. For the mammoths, adapted to life in a cold, dry climate, the warming world presented a significant challenge. The grasslands they relied on for food began to shrink, replaced by forests and wetlands. The tundra ecosystem, with its vast expanses of grasses and shrubs, was perfectly suited to the woolly mammoth. But as the climate warmed, the tundra began to give way to forests. Trees, once confined to lower latitudes, began to spread north. Their growth fueled by the warmer temperatures and increased rainfall. The mammoths, dependent on the vast grasslands of the tundra, found themselves facing a shortage of their primary food source. The woolly mammoth was a remarkable creature, well adapted to its environment. But even the most adaptable creatures have their limits. The rapid pace of climate change at the end of the last ice age may have simply outstripped the mammoth's ability to adjust. Evolution is a slow process, and the warming that occurred at the end of the last ice age was particularly swift. As the world warmed and the mammoths faced a shrinking habitat, a new threat emerged, humans. Early humans with their growing intelligence and developing tools were becoming increasingly skilled hunters, and the woolly mammoth, a massive source of meat and resources, would have been a tempting target. Imagine the scene, a group of hunters armed with spears and courage, stalking a mammoth across the tundra. The mammoth, massive but wary, sensing danger. The relationship between humans and mammoths is complex, intertwined with both respect and necessity. Across the Northern Hemisphere, archaeologists have unearthed tantalizing clues about the relationship between humans and mammoths. Sites where mammoth bones are found alongside spear points and tools, suggesting that humans did indeed hunt these giant creatures. Some sites even show evidence of large-scale mammoth kills, where entire herds may have been driven off cliffs or into traps. These findings paint a picture of humans as capable and sometimes ruthless hunters. The theory that humans hunted mammoths to extinction, known as the overkill hypothesis, has been a subject of intense debate among scientists. Proponents of this theory point to the timing of mammoth extinctions, which often coincide with the arrival of humans in new areas. They argue that humans, with their advanced hunting techniques, could have quickly decimated mammoth populations. However, other scientists remain skeptical, pointing out that mammoths survived for thousands of years alongside humans in some regions. The overkill debate highlights the challenges of piecing together events from the distant past. While climate change and human hunting cast long shadows over the mammoth's demise, another, more insidious threat might have played a crucial role disease. Invisible to the naked eye, yet capable of felling the mightiest of creatures, disease could have spread like wildfire through mammoth herds. Disease outbreaks are a constant threat to animal populations, even today. 
But for mammoths already struggling to survive in a changing world, a new and deadly disease could have been catastrophic. The end of the last ice age wasn't just a time of climate change. It was a time of ecological upheaval. As the ice receded and temperatures rose, new habitats emerged, and with them, new opportunities for diseases to spread. Animals, including humans, were on the move, migrating to new territories and coming into contact with other species they hadn't encountered before. This created a perfect storm for the emergence and spread of infectious diseases. One theory that has gained traction in recent years is the hyperdisease hypothesis. This theory proposes that the extinction of mammoths and other large mammals during the late Pleistocene was caused by the introduction of highly virulent diseases, possibly carried by humans or their domesticated animals. As humans migrated across the globe, they brought with them a host of diseases that were new to the Americas and other parts of the world. The arrival of humans carrying novel pathogens could have introduced diseases that ripped through mammoth populations. One of the critical factors that may have contributed to the extinction of the woolly mammoth was their low reproductive rate. Similar to modern elephants, mammoths had long gestation periods and typically gave birth to just one calf at a time. This slows reproductive cycle meant that mammoth populations couldn't quickly rebound from losses. In an environment where survival was already precarious, these low reproductive rates placed mammoths at a significant disadvantage. Environmental changes at the end of the last ice age created additional stress for mammoth populations. As their habitats shrank and food sources became scarce, mammoths faced increased competition within their species and with other herbivores. But it wasn't just the environment that was changing humans were emerging as a new and significant predator. Early human hunters, equipped with advanced tools and strategies, posed a substantial threat to the mammoths. The combined pressures of environmental change and human hunting created a perfect storm. Hunting by humans not only reduced the number of mammoths but also disrupted their social structures. As mammoth populations dwindled, they became increasingly isolated in smaller groups. This isolation led to inbreeding, which can have severe effects on the health and genetic diversity of a population. Inbreeding increases the likelihood of genetic defects and reduces the ability of a population to adapt to new environmental challenges. Reduced genetic diversity can lead to a decline in fertility, increased susceptibility to diseases, and an overall decrease in population resilience. The extinction of the woolly mammoth wasn't a simple case of one factor sealing their fate. It was a perfect storm, a convergence of multiple challenges that overwhelmed these magnificent creatures. Imagine a world in transition, the climate warming, glaciers retreating, and the familiar landscape transforming. Now picture the woolly mammoth adapted for a world of cold and ice, facing this unfamiliar warmth. Their food sources, the vast grasslands of the tundra, were shrinking, replaced by forests. The mammoths were being squeezed, their world literally changing around them. The changing climate didn't just affect the mammoths directly, it triggered a cascade of consequences that rippled through the entire ecosystem. As the ice receded, new plant and animal species moved in, competing with the existing inhabitants for resources. The mammoths, already stressed by habitat loss, now faced increased competition for food and resources. Their ability to find enough to eat, to sustain their massive bodies and reproduce, was severely compromised. As the pressures mounted, mammoth populations dwindled. Isolated groups cut off from larger herds faced new dangers. Inbreeding, with its potential for genetic defects and reduced fitness, became a serious threat. These isolated populations were living on borrowed time. The mammoths, once symbols of resilience and adaptation, were now teetering on the edge of oblivion. The story of the woolly mammoth's extinction is a tragedy, but it's also a cautionary tale. It reminds us that even the mightiest creatures are vulnerable to the forces of change and that seemingly small disruptions to ecosystems can have cascading consequences. The mammoths teach us that extinction is rarely a simple event with a single cause. 
It's often a complex interplay of factors, some natural, some human-caused, converging over time to push a species beyond the point of no return. By understanding the factors that led to the demise of the woolly mammoth, we can gain valuable insights into the challenges facing species today. We can learn to recognize the warning signs of ecological stress and take action to mitigate the impacts of climate change, habitat loss, and other threats to biodiversity. For decades, the prevailing theories about the mammoth's extinction revolved around climate change, human hunting, and disease. These explanations, while compelling, didn't quite paint the whole picture. Then, a startling discovery sent shockwaves through the scientific community. Deep within the fossilized bones of mammoths, scientists began to detect unusually high levels of heavy metals, particularly tungsten. These were levels far exceeding anything found in modern animals, or even in the surrounding environment. The mammoths had been exposed to something toxic, etched in their very bones. It suggested that the mammoth's demise might have been hastened by widespread pollution. As scientists delved into the mystery of the tungsten, their attention turned to massive volcanic eruptions. These colossal events spewed unimaginable quantities of ash, gas, and heavy metals into the atmosphere. Imagine the sky darkening for months, the air thick with noxious fumes, and the land covered in toxic ash. Mammoths, already stressed by climate change and human hunting, faced heavy metal poisoning. This volcanic pollution might have been the final straw, pushing them into extinction. The extinction of the woolly mammoth stands as a stark reminder of the intricate web of life. Climate change squeezed their habitat, forcing them into smaller territories. Human hunters added to the pressure, impacting struggling populations. Disease might have exploited their weakened state, spreading like wildfire. Volcanic eruptions could have delivered a final fatal blow. The mammoth story continues to unfold as scientists unearth new evidence. Though the mammoths themselves are gone, their legacy endures. Their bones whisper tales of a lost world, a time when giants roamed the earth. They remind us of the incredible diversity that once graced our planet. The mammoths offer valuable lessons for the present and the future. Their extinction serves as a cautionary tale reminding us of the fragility of life. By studying their demise, we understand the ripple effects of human actions. We learn the importance of preserving biodiversity in a world facing environmental challenges. The mammoths may be gone, but their story is far from over. Thank you for watching Animal Lovers. We love animals. Please comment and like our videos.